Well, good morning. All right. It is my honor and pleasure to welcome you all today to this glorious, glorious opening. Um, I'm Amy Wirth, uh, chair of the uh, Bay Area Toll Bridge Oversight Committee and MTC Commissioner and Arinda City Council member. It's just so exciting to see everybody here. We've done a lot of ribbon cuttings and groundbreakings over the years for the various transportation investments around the Bay Area. Most of them funded through local sales tax investments that you all have made. And I don't think I've ever seen an event that has this many people. So it's really glorious. So, on, and on this beautiful Saturday morning and spectacular sight, you know, we don't have to worry about sunscreen today, right? We have so much to be grateful for, and in the spirit of Thanksgiving, we truly are very, very fortunate to have this beautiful place and this beautiful pathway that will be enjoyed for many years to come. So first of all, I want to thank all of you who took time out of your weekend to be here. When we planned this event, we wanted to have it on a Saturday so that many of you could come, and we're thrilled to see the incredible turnout. So whether you came by car, or by foot, or by bike, or by yeah. or by BART and bike, rails to trails, uh, we can all make a history together today. And thanks, of course, to our project partners, all of whom are here today and will share their own thoughts in a few minutes. But we're gathering here today because of the strong partnership forged amongst uh, almost six years ago now with MTC, Caltrans, Transportation of Marin, and the Contra Costa Transportation Authority. And with them, all the project designers, engineers, contractors, equipment suppliers, utility companies, skilled workers, and many more. And in this spirit, I want to give special thanks to Chevron for their partnership in making this project happen. And thank you. We're, we're going to be hearing we're going to be hearing a little bit more from the refinery general manager Alan Davis in a few minutes but I want to just characterize the very first meeting that we had with Chevron at the refinery and their response to our request to be able to build this bike trail which co includes the portion of the freeway which goes over Chevron property which as you know it was a tragic site of an accident decades ago and our goal was to move that bike trail off the freeway. And Chevron's response was, how can we help? How can we make this happen? And that was the partnership that we had that brought us here today. Um, and I want to thank them uh, and all the partners for their commitment all the way through this. Also joining us in this long path is Bike East Bay. Uh, bike East Bay. <laughs> You know, thank you for your energy and persistence over the decades to make this dream a reality. And you work closely with the Bicycle Coalition of Marin County to have this dream come together. So, thank you all. You know, yesterday Tom Butt sent out a, a wonderful article about the history of the bike path on the, on, the bay, on the bridge. And it's really been a long saga and it's a great to be here today to open this. I, was, I also want to thank Assemblymember Mark Levine, uh, who couldn't be here with us today, but he was the one that helped streamline the, the, the construction and the legislative process to open this a year ahead of time, both the third lane and the bike path. And I also want to thank uh, Super, uh, Senator Nancy Skinner, as you know, who's been a tireless advocate for bike and pedestrian trails. And, and we're really, really fortunate to be able to work closely with the East Bay Regional Park District. The District Director Colin Coffey from this area is here. And they have worked so hard creating the connections, the connections that are so important. And finally, I just really want to extend a great uh, word of appreciation to Bruce Byer from the Trails for Rich and Action Committee. There he is. 
you know, Bruce is a tireless volunteer. He was with us at those very first meetings uh, in the city of Richmond. And finally, I really want to thank the city of Richmond. This is their great victory today. Yotter Bermudez from the city staff, uh, Bill Lindsay, who was the city manager, and Mayor Tom Butt, who again championed this project. So, so I know we're all here to have fun and to get riding. So, and to be the, among the first people to travel uh, between the East Bay and Marin without a car, a truck a boat or an aircraft. So I'll cut my remarks here, and it is now my great pleasure to welcome my MTC colleague, the chair of the Metropolitan Transportation Commission, Scott Haggerty. Wow, what a great morning. I think we should probably be doing more bike and, uh, and trails here in uh, Alameda County and Contra Costa County, huh? Wow. I want to thank uh, VATA Chair Amy Rainworth. Uh, my name is Scott Haggerty. I'm the uh, chair of MTC. And uh, Amy's right. Um, you know, this is a great time to give thanks to all the people that have done such a wonderful job getting this trail completed. And, uh, you know, it's kind of interesting because these, these trails, doing projects, any kind of project, takes a long time. And what happens is, is you get somebody, an elected official, that really champions something, and um, they leave office. They either don't get reelected, they retire, whatever, they term out. And, and that's actually what's happening today, and I certainly can't let that happen. Uh, I'd ask that Steve Kinsey please come up here. Uh, I think it's important. You know, Steve, Steve was my colleague for many years on, on MTC, and I, I'll tell you, as far as Marin County is concerned, um, he was clearly the best on MTC. Uh, if you wanted to get something done, you went to Steve because you needed him as an ally. And obviously, he didn't need any help getting things done because he got this done, and I'm really proud of him for doing that. But, you know, he, he did go to that brethren that I look forward to joining in a year from now, and that is that he retired. And uh, maybe it was this project that made him retire. I'm not sure. But, um, you know, Steve used to be the chair of MTC BATA, and uh, like Amy, and he's done a great job. So with that, I'd like to give Steve a little token of our appreciation. All right. You gotta open it. You're the token. Thank you. <laughs> you gotta open it. Gotta open it. Probably a rejection letter from Will Pemson. No, no. No, no. We love Caltrans. Steve, I, I, I know some people at MTC, and I can probably get that framed for you, too. So, you know, a little bit of glass on it might look nice, a little bit of wood around it. But it was Steve who incited the partnership between BATA, Caltrans, TAM, and CCTA to deliver both the Richmond San Rafael Access Improvement Project and secure the funding that made it all possible. These dollars came from the Bridge Rehabilitation Program and not only finances uh, regular rehab and repair work, on all of our seven state-owned bridges, um, but it also allows the financing on such capital projects like the one we are celebrating today. MTC has been a major partner, funding partner, in the development of the San Francisco Bay Trail. And today, opening adds six more miles, which will eventually add to the 500-mile walking and cycling uh, path around the Bay Bridge. Just think, in the fall of 1986, Bill Lockyer was in a restaurant with a local editor, and he leaned back in his chair and he said, you know, what do you think about doing a trail around the bay? And he said, I think it's a great idea. So, SB 100 was born, and now we have the Bay Trail celebrating its 30th anniversary, and its first ever...
and its first ever connection between Marin and the East Bay. It now totals 360 miles, including more than 230 miles of paved pathway. The new Richmond San Rafael segment offers options for new ways to travel, as Amy said, between the East Bay and Marin. It will not only reduce greenhouse, gases, greenhouse gas emissions, but it will also be a hell of a lot more fun than driving. The Association of Bay Area Governments and the Bay Trail Project, uh, they look forward to extending the trail even more in years ahead, one mile at a time. We encourage everybody to get out and enjoy the Richmond San Rafael connection and the rest of the Bay Trail. I want to stop here and I also want to thank Laura Thompson and her staff. Yeah. Laura, are you in here? Laura, where are you? She's got to be here. There she is over there somewhere. Here she is, come up here. I want to thank her for her excellent stewardship and also continuing to um, make the vision of the trail around the bay and keeping in with the spirit of SB 100. Just as so many transportation projects, ABAG and MTC, rely on partnerships with many different organizations to advance this trail. When the trail is fully built out, it will pass through all nine barrier counties and 47 different cities. When you think of biking and walking, you don't think of Caltrans. But in fact, the newest Bay Trail segment would not have been possible without the support the participation and, and openness to the new possibilities of Caltrans. And I think with our new governor, we're going to see a lot more of this cooperation between trails and Caltrans. I'm trying to introduce you. Caltrans is really, in this day and age, much more about highways. Here to tell us more about Caltrans is our new District Ford Deputy Director, Nina El, El Tuance. Yay. How did I do on that? Yay. Thank you, Scott. Well, good morning. Good morning. It's a great pleasure to join everyone here at the base of the Richmond San Rafael Bridge to officially open this new bike and pedestrian lane. So I've been on the job a little less than two weeks. <laughs> but um, one thing you will learn about me very quickly is I'm very passionate about increasing our miles of safe, accessible, active transportation routes. Although I'm a civil engineer by education, I do have a great emphasis as an environmentalist. So that's where it stems from. I just want to start off by thanking our partners in attendance today, the Metropolitan Transportation Commission, the Transportation Authority of Marin, Contra Costa Transportation Authority, and of course our everyday partners standing here in the back, the California Highway Patrol. But also, I want to thank the community of bike coalition groups and the transportation activists. This has been a great team effort. And it will continue to take team effort for our state to keep increasing our miles of safe pedestrian and bicycle trails and other multimodal options. Only through these kind of shared commitments and partnership can we reduce our state's reliance on motor vehicles as often our first and on only mode of transportation from point A to point B. For our state of California in particular, this is very critical. As you all know, the transportation sector is unfortunately our number one source of greenhouse gas emissions or GHGs. The, the transportation sector accounts for 40% of emissions in California. This is followed by the industrial sector, which comes in at 23%. That's why, to Governor Newsom, it is a priority 
and he is committed to reducing GHG emissions 40% below the 1990 levels by 2030. Unfortunately, when you're looking at a goal this big, there is no one simple fix. To tackle our over-congestion issues and lower our emission rates, we must employ a wide array of multimodal options. This includes investing more in mass transit, increasing, yes, increasing sales of zero emission vehicles, creating more active transportation options for pedestrians and bicyclists. So I'm really thrilled to be here today, officially opening the bike and pedestrian path on the Richmond San Rafael Bridge. By taking the shoulder of the bridge's westbound upper deck and turning it into a 10-foot wide active traveler lane, bicyclists and pedestrians, for the first time, Di can directly go from Richmond and San to San Rafael and back. This is a great milestone. <laughs> and they should be able to do that safely, which is very important to us. Unfortunately, on our transportation system, we lose 10 lives every day. That is 10 lives a day, way too many. And one out of every 10 is a pedestrian or a bicyclist. With this pilot, we have installed five miles of movable concrete lane dividers weighing 1,600 pounds, and they can be repositioned as needed. They are to separate vehicle traffic from pedestrian and bike lane. This is part of a four-year pilot during which we will study traffic patterns and the use of bike lanes and the two existing westbound auto lanes and the additional eastbound lane opened on the lower deck. We will study the performance of the concrete dividers and how popular bike trails is for the commuting and recreational usage. It should be an excellent and informative pilot. For this reason, we are proud to add this bike lane, as Scott mentioned earlier, to our more than 350 mile bay trail. It is our hope that this will help reduce emissions and enhance the quality of healthy living in the area. Like I said earlier, there is no one simple fix. It will take hundreds of projects like this one, as well as a change in our own mindset and behaviors as user of the transportation system. Only then can we and our children enjoy cleaner, more healthy, and less congested future. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. Um, it's great to be here. I'm Alan Davis. I'm the general manager of the Richmond Refinery. I've been in the job a couple of months. But uh, on behalf of all the men and women that work at the Chevron Richmond Refinery, I want to say we're proud to partner with the Metropolitan Transportation Commission, the Bay Area Toll Authority, and other regional partners to improve mobility along the 580 corridor. Since 1902, Chevron has called Richmond home, and our community is very important to our employees and our families. We understand how significant... We understand how significant this path is to so many in our community. This new path underscores our belief in enabling better mobility and accessibility to our community. In addition to this project, we've also partnered with East Bay Regional Parks District to provide land along this shoreline for use as part of the San Francisco Bay Trail. At Chevron, we understand the importance of getting people where they need to be. It's core to what we do. We work to provide affordable, reliable, and ever cleaner energy so that people can have access to a better quality of life. We get mom and dads to work, grandparents on planes to see grandkids, kids to soccer games. The new bicycle and pedestrian path will do the same thing. It takes all forms of energy to move us, including the incredible human energy needed to move across the bridge on bicycle and foot. We are proud to contribute to this important community effort and have a part in improving mobility in our community. Thank you.
like it. It's now my it's now my pleasure to introduce our mayor, Mr. Tom Butt. So I, um, I'm wearing two helmets today. I represent two organizations, the City of Richmond and the Contra Costa Transportation Authority. I'd like to point out uh, Vice Mayor Ben Choi down here. There may be other city council members in the audience, but I haven't seen them. Ben's, Ben's always been a big, big supporter of this project. Uh, the, the Contra Costa Transportation Authority is a proud supporter of the Richmond San Rafael Bridge project and the development of this bike lane across the bridge. The bike lane provides more ways to cross the bridge for commuting and recreation along the Bay Trail. Using innovative approaches like a movable barrier provides flexibility to use the shoulder for the bike lane and maintenance of the bridge when required. Contra Costa Transportation Authority and the City of Richmond funded and constructed additional bike lanes all over southwest Richmond to provide better access to this bike lane and also to tie it to BART and the new ferry service in Richmond. This project is an outstanding example of what can be accomplished through collaboration and partnership among all levels of government. Contra Costa Transportation Authority and the City of Richmond are excited to be celebrating this milestone toward better mobility, but we know there's more work to be done to help improve the commute between our two counties. I might remind you that this is a pilot project, a four-year pilot project. The future of it belongs to you. You gotta use it or you might lose it, okay? Let's get out there. As we look to the future, CCTA, MTC, and the City of Richmond are focused on relieving traffic congestion and reducing traffic delays by modernizing facilities, expanding pedestrian and bicycling options, improving transit reliability, and encouraging the use of carpools and buses. Now, b before I um, uh, introduce the next speaker, I wanna, I wanna go back to 2006. Before this project was built, there was in fact a legal signed bike lane on the shoulder of I-580 to get to Point Malati from Point Richmond. And two of my neighbors, Dan Dolstedt and Danny Weinstein, uh, were using that in a totally legal fashion and uh, they were run down by a pickup truck. Uh, Dan Dolstedt, was paralyzed and remains so today, and Danny Weinstein was killed. And if, if nothing else, this new project will provide a safe way for people to walk or bicycle from Point Richmond to Point Malati and ac across the Bay Bridge. Now, I, So I, I, have, I have a little uh, interlude here. Is uh, Ryan Russo here? Ryan Russo? I guess not. Well, okay, we don't have an interlude. Uh, <laughs> okay, with that in mind, it's my privilege to introduce Najari Smith, founder and executive director of Rich City Rides. You gotta bring the mic down, you got all these tall people around. <laughs> it's interesting, you throw a little party and you wonder who's gonna show up, right? And this happens. <laughs> so I wanna first thank you all for showing up and showing out and showing us what this bike path is all about. Um, yeah, really big shout out. If you came here by bike, let me hear you say, oh yeah. Let me hear that one more time. Let me hear you say, oh yeah. oh, yeah. If you know that climate change is real, let me hear you say, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right on. So I'm the co-owner of, uh, 
of the Rich City Rise Bike Shop. It's a shop right here in Richmond. It's a worker-owned cooperative shop. We do a lot of really great things for the community. Yo, you can, oh yeah. <laughs> Yo, I love you all. You know, you come by the shop, check out our selection of e-bikes, bike lights, and other supplies you, can, you might find you need. I'm also a longtime member of Rich City Rides, a community organization. It's an advocacy organization that works with the Richmond Bicycle and Pedestrian Advisory Committee for the city of Richmond. So give a shout out to the Richmond B Pack. I saw some members out here. We also work with uh, the Friends of the Richmond Greenway, Urban Tilth, Bike East Bay. And we work with the community. You know, we provide donated, refurbished bikes to anyone who needs one. <laughs> Thus far, we've, um, we've provided over 1,300 bicycles. Right on. And more to come. And we lead weekly rides with youth and families. You know, it's our way of making sure that everybody is included, everybody has an opportunity to receive a bike. We host free bicycle repair workshops on the Richmond Greenway. Uh, matter of fact, I got the leader of the, the, the guy who leads our weekly Sunday rides. He's taking thousands of youth and families to all the parks in Richmond. This bike path. Yeah, give Nakari Seon. You know, and um, you know, as bicycles become more popular and the global climate gets warmer, we just want to make sure that nobody's left out of the bicycle movement. Yeah. Everybody deserves access to healthy, low-cost, low-impact transportation. Yeah. I'd like to give a shout out to Caltrans, to the city of Richmond, and Dina, what a way to roll out, you know, your directorship. I just want to say keep up the good work. <laughs> On behalf of Rich City Rise, I'd like to thank our, our partners, the Aetna Foundation, Chorus Foundation, the Climate Justice Alliance, Idle No More, and all of our members and volunteers who make the work that we do possible. Right on. I want to say, I'd be far remiss if I didn't say that this is not Chevron land. This is Ohlone land. And lastly, we've been waiting a really long time for public transit that can take us to places like Mount Tam, China Camp, Stinson Beach. And we don't have a BART route yet, but we do have a bike path. And we like this path. And the naysayers can't take this path from us. Damon Connolly can't take this path from us. And we're going to make sure that this path stays here. Thank you all. I'd like to bring up the next um, Next speaker to the podium, the wonderful leader of Bike East Bay. Give it up for Ginger. Good morning, my name is Ginger Dwee and I am the executive director of Bike East Bay. Thank you to all of the thousands of people who came here and already are in Marin. <laughs> I rode here on BART and it was a party. I want to give a shout out to all of the, all of the groups I've already seen show up. 
Uh, I rode here on BART with Linda from Oakland Yellow Jackets. I know the Grizzly Peak cyclists are out here. Yeah. I joined up with Rich City Rides at Unity Park. Thanks for rolling me in. Yeah. And of course, Bikey Spay. If you're a Bikey Spay member, put your fist in the air and say, yeah, woo! Bike East Bay has been working on advocating for a biking and walking path on the Richmond and San Rafael Bridge for over two decades. This project really got off the ground, you know, they said six years ago, but we've been there at the table making sure that there is a way for people to walk and bike on this bridge and that we're taking the shoulder, shoulder lane for a solution to congestion that is climate friendly, reduces pollution, reduces greenhouse gas emissions. There are a lot of people asking me, hey, why are you putting a bike lane on a freeway? I want to tell you this project is about environmental justice for the people of, people of Richmond. Why is it so important? Every single car and every single additional car that goes across this freeway ends up impacting the people of Richmond. The, neighborhood, the neighborhoods of Santa Fe, of the Iron Triangle, they are surrounded by freeways and that has an impact on our health through air pollution, through greenhouse gas emissions that's gonna flood our neighborhoods and also in the impact of traffic violence as people are getting stuck on off ramps, getting pissed off and running into our neighborhoods. This is why this is much more than a bike path across a bridge. It is about environmental justice, reducing pollution, and reducing greenhouse gases for a sustainable and more equitable transportation system in the Bay Area. So we're celebrating today. We're gonna go on a great bike ride today. And I also want to tell you what we're going to do when we get back to work on Monday. Yeah, we're working on that too. <laughs> All right, number one. They're, ta they're talking about this pilot project. We're making it permanent. In 2020, Bike East Bay, we're rolling up our sleeves to get to work to win billions of dollars for biking, walking, and public transit here in the Bay Area. There are two ballot measures coming that are gonna be really important. And part of this is uh, gonna definitely go into reducing congestion and figuring out how to get pe more people across the Richmond and San Rafael Bridge. And this is important because we need more bike lanes, not car lanes. We need more tr public transit and not traffic. And we need more housing and not less long commutes so that people can afford to live where they work and bike and walk and take transit to get there. This project has always been so much more than about putting a bike lane on our freeway. I, I want to also just specifically shout out to Rich City Rides in partnership with uh, Najari and all of our great community partners in Richmond. We have been able to bring $750,000 in bikeway improvements to make it safer to bike in Richmond and to get access to greenways. Not only, I know Nakari is going to lead a bike ride to, to Mount Tam very soon, but also right here in, in Richmond over to Port Malade so you don't have to get kids riding on the side of a freeway to get to a green space. So thank you so much, everyone, for making biking part of our future. All right, now y'all who are riding across the bridge to give a high five to Marin, I have the great pleasure to introduce the new executive director of the Marin Bicycle County Coalition, Terrell Holloway. What Ginger said, <laughs> just that. Thank you so much. 
Uh, this is a huge day for the people of the Bay Area. Round of applause. So I rode over here with at least 500 people from Larkspur. And so here's the thing I'm thinking. I'm thinking that this room represents the number of people that the naysayers say will ride the bridge. And the amount of people who actually came represent how many people are actually going to ride the bridge. What do you say? So I am super honored to be here, and I, I just get to step in after 20 years of work by my predecessors. Um, we're so grateful to follow in the footsteps of the visionaries and advocates uh, who really dared to dream big. I mean, this is a huge dream out here. Um, and they fought really hard. I, I, I want to call out Deb Hubsmith. Rest in peace. Everywhere I go, I hear about her legacy. Amazing. She was the first executive director of Marin County Bicycle Coalition. Um, also, Steve Kinsey. Just heard so much about the two of you and the work that you did. Tirelessly. Through study after study after study, your dogged determination is the reason we're here today, because you were determined to connect these two communities. I'm so excited. Um, I want to thank the Metropolitan Transportation Commission, the Transportation Authority of Marin, the Bay Area Toll Authority, Contra Costa Transportation Authority, Caltrans, and our partners in advocacy, Bike East Bay, the San Francisco Bay Trail. Woohoo! Yeah. Rich, City, Rich City Rides, who I just got to meet today. Super excited to work with you in the future um, for helping make this dream a reality. In the past two years, bicycling in Marin County has increased by 53%. We believe that that number is going to explode with the advent of e-bikes. We also... Uh, believe that this pathway, uh, it's saying to the people that we care about both sides of the bay, uh, having free car-free car options and getting to work, to school, running errands, and just getting out here to adventure. But our work is not done. We must ensure that folks riding from the bridges to the cities have safe places to ride. A lot of that still is not happening, at least on the Marin side. Uh, and <laughs> Yeah. We must hold fast in our determination that this test project become permanent, treasured, and vital, a vital part of our transportation infrastructure for future generations. Get out and use it. Yeah. Let's show the naysayers that this is our community and that we do belong on the bridge. Thank you. So next, I want to welcome uh, Marin County Supervisor and TAM board member, Judy Arnold. Let me say first that my claim to fame is I know Steve Kinsey. <laughs> we served on the Board of Supervisors together, and he supported me. Welcome. Thank you for a great job. Well, what a pleasure it is, here to, it is to be here today. Uh, and I came with our new executive director of TAM, Ann Richmond. Stand up, Ann. Yeah. And to be surrounded by so much enthusiasm, and I think that's putting it mildly, for this historic event. Today, the Richmond San Rafael Bridge enters a new, important, multimodal role in its years of service. Today is truly a combination of partnering and collaboration. Interestingly, the bridge has played many roles over the years. Since 1956, this bridge provided a, tri a critical transportation link between the East Bay and the North Bay, helping to support our workforce, commerce, and access to recreation on both sides of the bridge. In 1976 and 77, the bridge played another essential role to provide water from the East Bay to drought-driven Marin, 
a surface pipeline during the record drought. In 2005, a seismic retrofit was completed, and in 2016, a suite of projects was approved by the many partners that are here today. They've all been named, but I personally want to thank them again. We could not have done it without all of our partners. And of course, our community partners, which far outnumber anything today, for the completion of the Bay Area Trail. The overall, the projects overall include the third eastbound lane on the lower deck of the bridge that was opened in April 2018, as well as the critical bike and pedestrian access project that we uh, celebrate today. And thanks again to MTC and Data and Bata for providing funding for these projects and the bike and pedestrian improvements. These projects demonstrate the commitment for viewing transportation projects in a holistic manner, providing multimodal options for local and regional transit. To that end, I want you all to know that the Transportation Authority of Marin is working closely with Caltrans and BATA to improve access to and from Richmond, San Rafael Bridge on the Marin County side. Tam and our partners are committed to multimodal transportation planning to expand options, reduce congestion, and to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. This is an example of how we must continue to plan for the future of transportation and the future of our planet. I want to keep this brief since I know you all are eager to hit the path to ride and celebrate. And I also want to invite the Rich City Riders, when you get, when you get to Marin, turn, turn north and come visit the Stafford Lake Bike Park in Novato. Now I'm going to turn this over to Laura Cohen from Rails to Trails Conservancy for closing remarks, and we're very close to cutting the ribbon, so stay with us. Thanks. Good morning. Love the energy and the enthusiasm and just looking out on a sea of uh, bicycle helmets as we were coming and when we got here. Uh, I also love that we live in a place where we're bridging divides instead of creating them. <laughs> Thank you to all of you for helping with that. Many people and agencies and groups came together to make this happen. I wanted to give a special shout out to the advocacy community. We've heard from uh, Bike East Bay, Marin County Bike Coalition, Rich City Rides, I see Dave Snyder of Cal Bike Coalition. And thank you to all of you who are members and supporters of those nonprofit groups who, who fight for biking and walking and trails because your support is essential. Thank you for doing that. We're blessed to live in a place where we have a very robust, engaged advocacy community and we're a better place for it. So thank you for making that possible. We are so excited for this pathway, and not only because it provides an important connection between the East Bay and the North Bay for biking and walking for the first time, but we're also, it's a critical uh, segment in a regional trail network. So we at Rails to Trails Conservancy are working with a number of partners as the Bay Area Trails Collaborative, and uh, that's a coalition that has a big vision of a 2,700 mile trail network connecting all of the Bay area. How's that sound? Pretty good? And that includes the Bay Trail and the Ridge Trail and the Coastal Trail and the connections between them. And this bridge connection is such an important step forward in realizing that vision. So thank you again to all of you who played a part in it. See you on the trail. Thank you. Well, Again, thank you all so much for being here, part of this grateful day of appreciation. And just wanted to remind everybody, as you've heard, this project is a real labor of love. It took a huge commitment from so many people and, and two other people who have absolutely, without their devotion and love to this project, would not have happened. And that's Andy Vermeer 
and Chris Lilly. All right. They, they were the ones that really, from an engineering standpoint, made both projects happen. And I also want to thank Alex Bockelman, who found the money for them to do this. So, so thank you again. Enjoy the great ride. Come back next weekend, every weekend. But we will uh, come over here now and do the ribbon cutting. Okay. Can you get a group? One, two, three. Woo!